Hi, this is Christina, and today I'm going to talk about Camel. Um, well, so Camel is the heart and soul of uh, Red Hat Jamel's Fuse. It is a full-featured, easy-to-use framework for your integration solutions. So, um, from a developer's perspective, when integrating between applications, there are four main things that you need to do. Um, well, first of all, it's connecting to various um, systems, and then we have to implement the uh, routing logic. And of course, we have to then um, transform the data into various different formats that we want. And lastly, we have to write our own business code, which is um, the most important part of the whole in integration process. Well, um, so traditionally, this is how you would normally do when you want to integrate between um, two systems. Um, so it's reading from an XML file from a folder, uh, route the documents to another place depending on its content, um, and then transform the contents into different format, then place it into a messaging queue. So here is how you know, would normally do it. Um, so first of all, implementing the code that reads in the, um, the file. So this is like a file for stream and readers and read it in. And then I'm going to use JXP to convert the XML file um, into a POJO so I can actually process it. And then I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to place the message uh, into messaging queue with uh, the JMS API. And then lastly, I'm going to do my business logic code and step try and step try. So um, imagine, you know, doing this in every single one of your application. It's going to be a big headache. But um, with Camel, you could define routings and mediation rules in varieties of um, DSL, which means domestic specific language. Well, the one that I'm using right now is a Blueprint XML. It is an actual working code. So, um, but you don't have to use the uh, Blueprint. You have a choice of um, doing it in Java or Spring XML. So whatever you would like to use. And uh, with, with Camel, it spares you from duplicating the code over and over again and focusing on the most important thing, which is your business logic. Well, um, despite all the already built-in components and things in Camel, it is also very highly customizable. So with this framework, you could easily inject your customized beans into a route. So whatever you want, it is really easy to customize. Inside Camel, there are more than 150 connectors. So all you have to do is to configure this, uh, these components and it will handle the transport, transport to different uh, endpoints like HTTP, ActiveMQ, JMS, etc, etc. And it has built-in components that talk to popular uh, sets on the cloud and you, 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 and you can even define and expose your web services, RESTful web services using the components as well. Um, speaking of web services, Camel um, not only supports the whistle first or the Java first creation of web services, we can also define web REST web services and point in a uh, descriptive language. Um, so what it basic does, you could actually define your, uh, your web services endpoint uh, and in a XML format. So you don't have to create all this different uh, Java object to make your, uh, to expose your uh, web services. And how do we use these components? We configure it by adding configurable values in URI parameters. It's really simple. Like uh, writing a queries for your HTTP URI request. And because there are so many um, components, it's actually 150 of them. I can't really go through them all. Please take a look at yourself and find the ones that you really want. We have um, access to most of uh, the popular con uh, connectors and protocols that you probably need 